occasionally Aldi has home run products and I believe I am holding in my hand one of those home run products from Aldi this I think cost around fifteen dollars it wasn't twenty maybe it was seventeen um, I bought one I used it for maybe three days and I went back and I bought another one and since then I've kind of been kicking myself for not buying more uh, it's really good uh, uh, construction materials here. This is this is a metal faceplate, rubber uh, on pretty much every surface that you're going to be setting it down on. Little rubber bumpers here, integrated kickstand, and it works as a handle. It's fantastic. Check that out. Quarter twenty hole there for mounting to a tripod. Um, on the back here, we've got uh, your power button. And then under this uh, weather tight cover with a uh, rubber gasket seal here, we have a um, uh, charging port and then a battery indicator and then the, uh, the uh, USB power plug so you can charge your devices off of this. So let's talk about the USB for a bit. So a lot of uh, products like this will have uh, just like a round jack where you plug in 12 volts or something. I pr I'm okay with those as long as they also give you micro USB charging. Some of them don't give you micro USB charging, in which case I hate them because I don't want to have another power plug um, that I have to keep track of. Yeah, this is slower, but usually I'm charging it overnight, so I don't really care about the speed. I just want it to be super convenient and always be able to charge it and not have to keep track of a proprietary cable. <clears throat> the input charging rate is pretty slow. It's uh, 700 milliamps, so this isn't going to charge up really fast, but like I said, it's usually an overnight charge. This plug will support one amp, so that's not too bad. It's pretty good for a phone. Might be a little weak for a tablet, but you're probably not buying this as a USB power bank since it is pretty small. Um, 4,400 4, milliamp hour um, capacity, so I don't really ever use it that way. I just use it as a light. Um, also, while we're talking about the charging, this does not have through charging. So if you have a device plugged in here charging off of this cable and you plug in the light to, to charge the battery internally, this power plug is shut off. There's no output here when this is receiving current, which is lame, but it's not really a USB power bank. That's just a bonus feature. Uh, battery indicator there. This oftentimes will sort of never indicate that it's all the way full. This last LED may always be blinking after days of charging. It has two different settings. Turn it off, turn it back on. Oh, that's obviously the low setting. Um, yeah, those, the uh, the flicker that you see there is just from the chat power supply. That doesn't show up if you are looking with human eyes. All right, let's see what is inside. Four screws removed. Mm. So there is a couple of 18650s. A rubber gasket. This part is a casting and this is a, a plastic backing. Okay so this is a bit interesting. These 18650s are parallel. This pack is 3.7 volts and I was hoping that there'd be space in here to add more batteries. I don't think that's going to happen. It's it's pretty full. <clears throat> One last thing I'd like to look into is what the amperage or uh, wattage is on this LED. It doesn't really say anywhere and um, now that I'm in I can tap into these and we'll check the uh, the high and the low settings. I've removed the board. It's pretty simple. Power switch. Uh, battery indicators, micro USB for charging, and an output there. <clears throat> so after uh, charging all night, this battery is at 4.1 volts. So I guess they're not um, charging it completely, and I guess uh, the good news is it'll probably last longer that way. And if not, I can pretty easily fabricate a pack with two 18650s. I've got that technology. All right, it was easier to 
solder onto the back of the board then find a connector for me so the numbers the numbers are in low setting is about three watts and the high setting is about six and a half watts i thought i was guessing 10 watts but not so